guys welcome to another Mars's tutorial and today we have painting orcs as you can see here these are all the paints that I use to paint the, my style of orcs feel free to write it down and pause it at this moment I got into the habit of actually Zenithal priming all my models now starting with the black Sinal res uh, and then going into gray and then white from top again using badger newest primer Sinal res from the top you can see all the highlights the white parts and then from the bottom you can see all the darker shadows the blacks and I start off with after Zenithal priming it I paint the uh, pants and the shirt a beastie brown really thin coat with the airbrush. I just cover whatever I need to cover. Uh, not everything is going to be brown. While I'm doing this, I also decide on what color of the pants and what and what color that I'm gonna do the shirt as well because even though they're the same base coat, I can also shade it differently. Now, as you can see, I went on with the heavy green on all the orc skins. Starting with the face, you can start whichever you want, but I usually start with the face because it's the most open area. Make sure that I get an even coat, that's why I use the heavy op green, which is one of the uh, Vallejo game colors, heavy opaque line. While I'm doing this, I'm also looking at the other areas, like the gun, you know, what I wanted to paint it. So, while you're painting other areas, make sure that you're also looking forward uh, into what other colors that you wanted to paint. As you wait for certain colors to dry, usually I move on into a different area where it's different colors again. So I was waiting for the brown to dry, so I went and go ahead with the green. Then once I'm waiting for the green to dry, I would probably just go along with you know other colors like the black to cover the base coat for the metallic stuff, or the blue that I wanted to have on the belt and the sash on, on his uh, hip. Now that I'm done with the greens, I like to base all my metallic stuff with black first, uh, in the exception of gold. Uh, gold I use brown base coat. But for metallics like gunmetal and silver, I usually use black as a base coat because it gives a darker color. For me, it looks richer for some reason. So I go ahead and base coat everything that I'm, I think is going to be silver or gunmetal black which is the gun, the helmet, and some chains or hooks, anything that's around the orc. Again, I do this whole process while waiting for the green to dry, but usually by this time it's already dried out. The shoulder pads and also that back plate is also going to get the black treatment base coated, including the helmet right now. Now, after everything is base coated black for the metallics, I went on with the belt on the leg and also the sash. Uh, I put ultramarine blue on them because the client requested something a little bit blue uh, attached to to match the other color schemes. Then 
And I went with all bone white for the bandages and wraps around uh, his wrists and also the gun nozzle area. I like to use this formula a lot by using just bone white and then washing it with the Agrax Earth Shape by GW. It looks pretty good for tabletop. Over here you can see I'm just retouching the stuff that I might have missed or there's a different like there's another color that I made a mistake of so I just redo everything again you know cover all my mistakes Sometimes bone color you have to recoat it a couple of times because if you you know if you thin your paint it's always going to look a little too thin so you have to do a couple of coats to make sure that it's even. Now that the black is dry I am getting ready with the gunmetal metal onto the gun itself and also the helmet and the shoulder pads. All the metallic parts are going to have a base coat of black and then gunmetal metal. It's probably a good idea not to attach the gun before you paint everything because it gets a little hard to get into the nooks and crannies. Um, but the model was already assembled uh, already, then you know, might as well just work with what I got. Just do double checks, see if I miss a certain color. As you can see here, I am missing some of the blue, so I added a little bit more of the blue on the sash. Metallics especially, you know, sometimes you do it too thin and you'll see the black underneath it. Make sure that you go cover that again. Now it's time to put the black wash, which is non oil from GW. I just washed the greens to make it darker. I also put a black wash on the metallics and the browns to make sure that it goes a little bit darker. I put a really watered down coat of the black wash and then I do it twice because uh, depending on how dark I want it to look like, the pants gets three washes while the shirt actually getting two washes. So it would be two different shades of the same colors. 
And this is just done to get the shadow uh, of a certain color. That's the easiest way to get a shadow for any type of base coat. You put black wash or brown wash over something and you get the darkest part of that particular color. It works especially effective with the metallics because usually after you're done putting silver for example or gunmetal and then you put a black wash, really thin one, you're pretty much done. You don't really have to do highlights after that if you're just aiming for tabletop quality. And now I cover the bandage area, the wrap on his wrist and the wrap on the gun itself. Whatever that's bone white, I'm going to cover it with Agrax Earth Shade from GW. This is a really effective tool to get that dirty look on bandages. After I put the wash, I usually don't highlight it at all because bone white itself is a little too bright for highlight on ragged stuff like bandages. So I usually just use the Agrax Earth Shade wash or brown wash or any you know double in mud and then just leave it. Now I add a little bit of purple, which is blue-violet, and also a black mixed together to add the inner lip of the mouth area. And then after that I use bone white to paint the teeth and the horns on the helmet. After they're dried, I actually add the Agress Earth Shade again onto the lip area and also the bone area on the helmet. Now at this point, it's all just washes afterwards, no highlights or anything, but you can make a stop right here. This is already tabletop quality, you know, with a lot of details that's already covered. Then if you're not satisfied with this result, you can always take it a little bit further up, try to paint the eyes, try to paint the highlights, which I am going to show as well. Take this moment also to reflect on the, you know, are you satisfied with this paint job and you want to continue on further, but this is a good stopping point for some people. I went and go ahead and mix the heavy green with a little bit of the sickly green, just to make it lighter green than the already darkened green with the black wash. So I went over into the raised area of all the greens on like the muscle parts and the basically any raised area like on the face, on the neck, anything that you can think of that the light would hit first. So and the darkest will stay the darkest and then the, hi the higher you go onto like the muscle tones and stuff, it gets lighter and lighter. The sickly green mixed with the heavy green is usually enough to do like first layer of highlight. If you want to keep continuing on, just keep mixing in the ratio into like 50% sickly green and 50% heavy green. Make it lighter and lighter. Or if you have a lighter diff color of green that you have, like from GW or from P3, for example, you can always use that. Again, I am covering just the raised area of the muscle tones and on the face. And then I re-highlight the blue sash and the blue symbol on the shoulder plates because they came out a little too dark after I put the black wash. So I always just go over things again. Now I'm re getting ready with the metallic paints again with the same one gunmetal metal to put highlights on raised area of the helmets, the gun, you know, the knife blade on the the gun. For the gun, it's not highlighting the raised area for me it's more edge highlighting so you can see the difference between certain areas if it's already not prominent enough like the blade for example has a lot of straight edges so it's a lot easier but for the round parts I usually highlight you know the edges only
Here's the last part and my favorite part of painting any miniature is, is actually painting the eyes. Uh, for orcs, it's pretty easy for me. I usually just use red for the dot. I use flat red just to dot it and that's pretty much it because again, this is trying out the tabletop quality. I'm also gonna try to re-highlight the lip, the inside lip area where it was purple and black before. Uh, it's like dark purple. Now I, I put a little bit ra different ratio where before it was 50% blue violet and 50% black. Now it's 25% black and 75% blue violet. Just to highlight a little bit. Over here as well, I'm trying to mix the heavy green with bone white a little bit to lighten it up. I wanted to add a second layer of highlight over on the skin on, and the face. The work is actually almost done at this point. It's just all tiny detailing. You can always bring this up into this fake quality by adding more details onto it, more highlights, and work on with the skin a little bit more. But if you're aiming for tabletop quality, something really quick, this is really good already. And if you if you're painting orcs, you're painting a horde of them, um, and you don't want to spend more than two hours on each model. This one in particular, collectively, probably took me about 45 minutes to an hour to do. And it's, it's really easy to do. It's really fast and if you're working for someone else, you know, if you're, this is a commission, the client will be happy, you know, if you're painting 50 of them all kind of looking like this, the client will be happy. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial for painting Orc Boys and look forward for more tutorials coming for Versus of Mars. Thank you guys again for watching and I'll talk to you guys later.